Hi, I'm Brian Murphy, digital editor at Fredericksburg.com, alongside Rob Hedelt, our movie critic at the Freelance Star. And Rob, we'll start with last week's movies. Two big ones came out. I know you're a big fan of this Mad Max movie. Oh yeah, and I went to see it again last night. I don't do that very often, but um, it is really good. It, and people say, gosh, why is it getting such great reviews? Is it, the, is it the greatest movie ever? No, but of chase movies, of movies like this, this is probably the best one ever made. And it starts and just doesn't stop. I mean, um, you know, the... the uh, the way that they uh, create the, the vehicles that chase each other, you know, there's a big tractor trailer called the War Rig that the, you know, the good guys are driving and then there's all these little crazy attack vehicles. They have everything from guys on poles that swing over to chainsaws that swing <laughs> out and it's just, and it just really works. Char Charlize Theron is just awesome as... Um, I heard it has a feminist <laughs> undertone or maybe overturn. It does, it does and you know, she's trying to help uh, four or five of these young women uh, escape. They're, they call them the breeders. They're basically, you know, regular humans when so much of the rest of the population has been, you know, kind of warped by radiation and stuff. So it's it's a good movie for what it is. Uh, you know, I think it works. And for as good as the reviews have been for Mad Max and as many people who have gone and seen that, Pitch Perfect 2 actually beat it in the box office. It did. And I think part of that is Pitch Perfect has, I wouldn't call it a cult following, but I would call it a core following. People who loved it because it was the whole acapella, cool performance, um, neat cast. And I will say, I did not like the second one near as much as the first. Um, I thought it wandered a bit, you know, and it's, it's typical of sequels, you know. In the first one, you're meeting the people, you're learning the story. This one, is like you already know them. It's like, oh, we'll go over here and do this for a while. There is a bizarre scene in it where the Green Bay Packers do a cappella, which is bizarre. So um, I think people who like Pitch Perfect will like this one. I didn't like it as much. Now let's get to this week's movies. <clears throat> Poltergeist, uh, here we are in another movie, you know, that going back to the past and pulling something Well, here. you know, last night before the, the movie I saw, I watched the previews for Fantastic Four, <laughs> for Jurassic Park, and for Poltergeist. I don't know why we're remaking this, but with Sam Rockwell in it, they're trying again. Um, you know, the bizarre thing about the original is so many of the people that are in that original died, including that cute little girl. It's kind of a cur the curse of Poltergeist. I guess you have to be brave to be in this one. <laughs> I think that's one of the reasons maybe people liked Pitch Perfect so much. The first one, it was kind of a new idea. Yeah. Of course, they, they had to make a, a yeah, sequel Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> exactly. I'd like to see more new ideas. Right. Like the other movie that's coming out this week, Tomorrowland. And you know that one, here's my guess on that one. I think it's either going to be great or lousy. I don't think it's going to be in between. I haven't heard a whole lot about it. No, it's uh, it features Britt Robertson. You know, she was just in The Longest Ride. Right. And the story here, uh, again, this is a movie basically made after a section of a Disney park. <laughs> you know, the same way uh, Pirates of the Caribbean was. And that turned out okay, so there is hope. Uh, the story here is Tomorrowland is this kind of futuristic place that people can get to by a kind of magical means. This young girl has this little badge and if she holds the badge she ends up in Tomorrowland. And somehow they need help from young people. George Clooney is kind of like the Wizard of Oz up there, you know, <laughs> and uh, you Laurie is involved. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I just, it, it's kind of a, an odd mix of cute and futuristic and sometimes that doesn't work. Feels like a, a strange set of movies then to come out Memorial Day weekend, not, not the big blockbuster. It is. I think what they're counting on is having five or six people movies that they think a lot of people will see instead of one big one that people are dying to see. Well, thanks a lot, Rob. We'll see you next week where we discuss those movies and as well as the ones that come out next Maybe week. Maybe Aloha. <laughs>